the sun is the Earth's main energy source. In fact, it provides 99.96% of all the energy that drives the Earth's climate. Some of the energy produced by nuclear fusion in the sun's interior will eventually strike the top of the Earth's atmosphere. The amount of energy that does strike the atmosphere depends on two main factors. The total amount of energy produced and transmitted by the Sun and the orbital cycles of the Earth with respect to the Sun. The energy transmitted by the Sun is in a constant state of flux depending on solar activities such as sunspots, solar flares, coronal loops, and coronal mass ejections. The relationship between the Earth's orbital cycles and climate change was proposed by Milutin Milankovic. Milankovic was a Serbian engineer and during the 1930s he proposed that the changes in the intensity of solar irradiation received on the Earth were affected by three fundamental factors, precession, obliquity and eccentricity. These factors are now collectively known as the Milankovitch cycles. The Milankovitch cycles are widely accepted by climate change scientists and are well documented by, for example, the IPCC. A more detailed description of the cycles is available by clicking on the tab above. But the remainder of this video will provide an excellent overview. The Earth rotates on its axis every 24 hours. Around once in 27 days, the Sun also rotates on its axis. Its average distance from the Earth is approximately 150 million kilometers, 93 million miles. It is an average distance because the Earth's orbit around the Sun is not fixed. Its orbit cycles from being almost a circle to that of an ellipse to almost a circle again. The cycle takes place over a period of around 100,000 years. The rotation of the Earth is at an angle to the vertical, and this angle changes over time. It moves from 22.1 degrees to 24.5 degrees and back again. This is over a time span of approximately 41,000 years. The Earth also goes through a cyclic wobble. It moves from its current position of the north pointing to the star Polaris to where the north points to the star Vega and returns to pointing at Polaris. The full cycle takes place between 19 to 26,000 years. The combined effects cause the seasons to gradually cycle relative to the perihelion and aphelion. This over a time span of about 21,000 years. 